The world of calisthenics can seem all about the gravity-defying skills, but the strength that underpins these skills is key to achieving any form of success. The thing is, targeting both can feel like we're going nowhere fast. So today, we're going to dig into how we can elicit calisthenic skill and strength gains at the same time. Hi there, Cali crowd. Welcome back to the channel that makes calisthenics simple. Jumping straight into today's discussion, I want to talk about the idea of having too many skill goals. Because this is something I see a lot, particularly with beginner calisthenics athletes. And it's typically characterized by somebody trying to learn every single skill at once. And their training week ends up looking like this with the lion's share of their effort being put into static holds you will find life far easier and more productive by picking one or two skills and working towards them with a greater focus instead. What's great about this is that it doesn't mean that you discount every other skill that you want to learn. By doing what we should be doing when we want to learn a new calisthenic skill, namely strengthening our basic movements of horizontal and vertical pushing and pulling, we build strength that transfers easily to all skill types and will drastically reduce the need to juggle taking every calisthenic skill from zero to 100 at the same time. This brings me on to the quality of our skill and strength work. Learning a new skill is very neurologically taxing and developing new motor patterns involves spending quality time repeating that movement. We can set up for optimal skill and strength gains by focusing on our skills at the beginning of our training sessions when we feel we have the most energy and following it up with the compound movements that we know yield fantastic strength gains, especially when working with additional weight or harder progressions. Hyperfixation on static holes can be a real killer of gains as well. Various calisthenic skills are just static holds in near impossible positions. And while it may make sense and even feel fun to spend entire training sessions holding these skills with the lightest resistance band that you can find, this is not the optimal way to build strength. Yes, you may develop strength in that particular position, but when you consider that the ability to progressively overload this has a low ceiling as well as poor transferability to other skills, there are definitely better ways we could be spending our time namely through dynamic movements taken through a full range of motion. In and amongst the skill and strength work, hypertrophy can be discounted too. Now, this is something that calisthenics athletes do get hung up and about because strength to weight ratio is actually really important to body weight skills. But the fact of the matter is, larger muscles do produce more force. Training for skills and strength typically means that you're working in the low rep ranges at close to your one rep max. But doing this all the time with little to no focus on building muscle discounts the value of high volume and building up that capacity for work. By working at higher volumes, we get far more time under tension, the secret source to building muscle, but also facilitate healthier training protocols for our joints, which take a battering if we're only doing isometrics and heavy lifts. And nothing derails learning a new skill or building strength than an injury. So take the time to work on building muscle and conditioning at higher volumes. Now, if you want to get into the meat of how you can balance hypertrophy, strength building and skill work in a simple to understand way, I have a full video that really breaks that down. It will be linked down in the description as well. But building muscle builds strength. And through this strength, we have an easier ride learning how to do these calisthenic skills. And one last tip to wrap this up, guys, is patience. Getting stronger takes time. It won't come overnight and it is hard, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing, especially if you're enjoying the process of building strength and developing the best versions of ourselves. But crowd, I wanna know what you think. How have you found balancing strength and learning calisthenic skills at the same time? Let me know down in the comment section below and crowd, I'll see you in the next one.